we talk about Project Bluebeam. Look, I'm, I'm literally telling you that one day you'll look up in the sky and that just you won't know what the heck is real. I'm, you probably will look in the sky and you'll see a distant land. You'll see a distant universe. You'll see all types of stuff that was never there naturally in the beginning of times. literally these people are going to be buying this stuff and they're already talking about it they're talking about it. they're going to be buying it putting fake media showers in the sky putting fake stuff in the atmosphere all a part of this little project blue bean deception to keep your mind entrapped and not to know what's really happening but you're about to see this literally coming in the future sounds like more project blue bean rich people will soon be able to buy fake media showers fake Meteor showers on demand in the latest scheme of booming private space industry. A Japanese company proposed to light up the night with made to order shooting stars, people. Do you hear what's happening? But some experts worry about space clutter and the scary consequence of these artificial meteors hitting important satellites. 25th, 2018. They're still playing in the atmosphere now when you look up and all these things transpire and you don't know what's real coming out of the sky and you don't know what's fake that's total warfare on minds if everything works out over the night sky here or here japan will fill with the graceful arcs of blue green orange shooting stars and we know what shooting stars are sometime in the summer of 2019 the fireworks will come courtesy of a satellite 220 miles high on by the world's first aerospace entertainment firm, Astro Live Experiments. The brainchild University Toko, Tokyo astronomer Lino Okajima, the spacecraft will circle the globe and kick out about 15 to 20 small metallic pebbles on command. These seeds last less than half a mile an inch will blaze overhead for a few bright seconds over the city of the buyer's choice. They're literally going to be buying this stuff now on demand, providing it to companies, to the people at the top. Deception inside the atmosphere. Fallen stars, just like the fallen angels fell, right? And they were stars. And it makes you ask the question, right? What about the media showers that's been happening? Have they been fake already? Have they already been playing that game? You know, we see all this stuff dropping out of the atmosphere. And we, you study reporting on it, and it's like, now they tell you this. Then you got to go back and, like, rewind and think. And, like, oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. This may be the deception already been placed amongst us. But even if something actually does drop out of the atmosphere, they're not going to actually let you know. So there's no actual way of knowing that something's going to drop out of the atmosphere. Super, super maniacal world. And these super super controlling elite but they can't control the truth the truth shall keep coming out we shall keep talking we shall keep exposing what they're doing I wanted to bring this up because one of my subscribers uh, that I had the opportunity to speak with on Google Hangouts wanted to know about the artificial sun so I'm going to put this out and yeah I'll be speaking with more subscribers every friday and i'll put out a poll every thursday so make sure you tune in to that this thursday answer the questions right and you're a part of it the world's largest artificial sun has been turned on for the first time and this was in 2017 when they released this article doesn't mean it was turned on man scientists in germany now have sunlight at the touch of a button having successfully turned on the world's biggest solar simulator for the first time the artificial light which have been created from 149 powerful short arc lamps, has been tested out at a German aerospace center near the Cologne, or however you say it. Researchers say the aim of the experiment is to improve the production process for the solar fuels, including hydrogen, which they believe in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Once again, like I said, they play in God, and they use those lamps to project sunlight 
you know, even at nighttime, they have videos where it automatically just was flashing and it was beaming down and it was an accident. They, they try to say, oh, it was the military doing drills. No, it wasn't. Now, this was an older video of mine. It still was in 2018 that this was in Colombia. You know, and they were baffled. People didn't know what the heck this was. It was in the middle of night. Now, just take a look at this. Like I said, take a look at this photo. It just doesn't look like, you know, any rocket for sure. It's not that. So what is it in the atmosphere? Is the government actually... Yeah, and you see, this thing right here is a video. I'm going to show you of it. And it's in the middle of the night. Just glaring. Just glaring, just like a sun would be, right? Sitting in the same spot, no movement. So it's definitely not any alien spacecraft. So that one is automatically removed. Demon spacecraft. But look at that. In in nighttime, it's nighttime, right? But we got this flashing little sun going off. You see that? That's the sun at nighttime. And speculations were, you know, that it was accidentally turned on in the middle of the night. That clearly looks like a sun at, ni at nighttime. I mean, I don't know how else to explain it. Maybe it's something else though. But that looks clearly like a sun simulator to me. Yeah, this is it. This is the society right here. This is absolute, total control of minds and a warfare on the people because they want all this intergalactic, whatever you want to call it, atmospheric deception to happen. And it, it comes to a point when you get too smart and you get too wicked and, and people don't think about that. People take this to like, oh, it's just gonna be some nice little show of showers. No, it's not gonna be just a nice show of showers because they tell you what they're gonna do and then they don't tell you what they're gonna do after that. They give you the normalization of this, like, oh, let's make it normal for them to say, oh, we see these in the sky. And then all of a sudden they start deceiving the crap out of you, start deceiving the hell out of you. Like I said, they already make it where they can. But this is in real time. We're talking real time. We're not talking on the computer screen. We're not talking like, you know, when they had a uh, reality where they can make it night. They can make it look like it's snow. They can make it look like all these different things, but through computer systems. But this is coming from the computer system that they have based in the atmosphere. And it's a whole computer system in the atmosphere. I'm not saying no. I'm not saying we live in this dimensional world where we're in a computer. Like a lot of people think we live in a computer. No, God created this universe, but what they put in the atmosphere creates this LED, we already talked about it, projection in the sky. Well, you got these scientists computing what they're gonna do next and putting codes literally in the atmosphere to connect with machines and deceive us. Stephen Jackson, JW TV. Thanks for tuning in. Subscribe, click the bell. The deception gets more and more progressive as we go. Yeah.